Hello, I'm Prudence. Today's letter is about a handicapped parking problem. Dear Prudy, about a year ago I had an accident that caused nerve damage to my heart, kidneys, and brain. As a result, I'm unable to walk more than 250 feet without resting. Thanks to excellent doctors, months of physical training, and the use of handicapped parking, I've regained the ability to do basic things like go to the post office and the grocery store. I rarely use a cane and don't walk with a limp, so when I get out of my car, I often look like an otherwise normal and healthy 35-year-old. I've had people lecture me when I park in spaces reserved for the handicapped, and even more disturbingly have found anonymous notes telling me how I ought to be ashamed of myself for taking spots from those actually in need. I know I should ignore these comments, but I can't help but feel alternately disturbed, angry, and embarrassed about the situation. How do I respond to these judgmental onlookers? Signed, Not Faking It. Dear Not Faking It, Researchers who study social animals, such as monkeys or humans, have found that society needs individuals willing to point out and punish cheaters, and without them, social restraint breaks down. However, when these individuals are wrong, they just appear to be nosy, overbearing vigilantes. In one way, it's good there are people who want to make sure handicapped parking spaces are kept for those who are truly in need. However, you are truly in need, so the next time you're confronted, keep your cool and explain, while you're lucky to appear healthy, you have actually suffered severe nerve damage due to an accident. That will diffuse the situation and perhaps keep these individuals thinking twice before having another confrontation. As for the nasty notes, crumple them up and throw them away.